In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a hem stitch, also known as a felling stitch. It's the same exact technique, but the way that you implement it will dictate whether or not you're felling and aligning, for example, or hemming a bottom of a sleeve or a skirt or a pair of pants. Uh, I also use this technique when I'm mending clothing. Felling, in essence, means taking a fold, folding it over, and stitching that into place. So felling is essentially the act of doing it and the end result is then going to be kind of what you're doing. Uh, I've knotted my thread and so I'm right-handed. So I'm gonna start here on the right side and I'm gonna stitch right to left. And I'm going to go ahead and actually put my, my needle through just below the fold here at the end of that fabric. So you can see this cross section. Uh, essentially what's going on is that this needle is going through this fold, but only through this fold, probably about two threads down uh, from, from the fold itself. All I'm doing is just locking this knot into place. The felled stitch is slightly at an angle. So instead of taking my needle and going in right above where this tail is, I'm actually going to put my needle in ever so slightly to the left and slightly underneath the fold, and then subsequently push it through that fold at the exact same moment. Um, again, only going to be kind of pushing it through that fabric, uh, that fold, a couple of threads beneath the fold itself. And so what that's doing here is it's creating a slight angled stitch. And we're going through this outer fabric and we're going through the fold at the exact same time. Keeping my needle relatively parallel to my work. Uh, my hands are pa parallel to me. My hands are actually in the same position as we used for a running stitch, as we do with a back stitch. It's the same position I keep my hands in um, when we were practicing different techniques. So I, when I fell, I don't fell with the work perpendicular to me, um, in part because it's easy to hurt your wrist and also it's easy to pick up too much uh, of this fabric. And you can certainly sew like this, but that's potentially gonna put a little bit too much pressure on your wrist that you may or may not uh, like. Some people do that and they're, and they're able to do that just fine. Um, but I prefer to hold my hands in, in this manner uh, and then do it nice and parallel. So pushing that needle through the fabric and the fold in the same motion, slightly under the fold. I would say the needle's at about a 20 degree angle when I'm actually going through. And let's take a look at the other side. So this is what the underside looks like. We have these little tiny top stitches. So they are visible. This is not an invisible hem. Uh, I know that there are some people who were taught how to do very, very invisible stitching and invisible hemming like this in the 20th century. Uh, and while that's not an invalid way of doing it, uh, it is not the way that I've seen on 18th century uh, and early 19th century garments. The stitches were visible uh, to a point. They weren't, they weren't uh, expected to be hidden, but they were expected to be durable and strong uh, and look relatively, you know, relatively neat. I do my every stitch about a fourth of a centimeter apart or about an eighth of an inch apart. So we're looking at about eight stitches per inch. A mistake I've seen some beginners make is where they actually will take a big bite up here or a really big bite into the fold. So you just wanna make sure you're barely moving your needle. So you're, you're literally just kind of dipping, like kind of pushing the needle down into the fabric and then rocking it back up again through the fold itself. So just like we were doing a running stitch or a back stitch or even a felling stitch, I'm just dipping the, the needle into the fabric and pick and then pushing it forward. I'm using my, my non-dominant hand to fold the fabric and then I'm using my dominant hand to pivot this needle of course, pushing with my thimble here from the back, picking this up with my hands and then pulling it like we were doing before uh, in the video that shows you how to use a thimble. So I'm using my hands to stabilize the work. And I love a felling stitch because you can really get into a good rhythm. So once I'm ready to knot off, what I'm going to do is take a little bit of a bite kind of on the other side of the fold, under the fold here, make a loop with my fabric, my thread, put my needle through this loop just a couple of times, pull it, 
and then take my needle and go in between the fold and the fabric and pull that in so that the thread is then buried. So that should make it look as though you can't see a knot. So try this out the next time you need to fell a lining in, hem something, or maybe you need to mend something.